Hey, what up everyone? This is Mondo all day back with another video. In this video, I'll be answering the question, is Hydroid good for in-game content? Um, I'll be giving you my opinion on why or why not Hydroid is good for in-game content. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, to answer the question, is Hydro good for in-game content? I want to say yes. As yes, he is very good for in-game content. And here's why. So, his first ability is called Tempest Barrage. And I won't go into detail about his abilities and so forth because I made a review for Hydroid. I'll have a link in the description where you can check that out. But in short, Tempest Barrage is a really good ability, especially for any game, because it does a quick burst of damage, of every damage I should say. And it's really good just for doing quick burst, like I said. So this first ability, Tempest Barrage, is very good for that aspect, just for that temp uh, the burst of energy. I mean burst of damage to enemies. The second ability is Tidal Surge. Um, it's essentially it's a movement power. It's okay. It's it's it, to me it's just whatever. I want to use it just to you know, quickly move from one side of the map or just to evade enemies. But other than that, I don't really have a use for uh, Tidal Surge, so the second ability. Um, that's the third ability is Undertow. Undertow is really good and very useful, especially for endgame content. You now, if you have the augmented mod, which I do not remember the name of it but if you have the augmented mod in which Continue when you activate attack. undertow undertow and allies that walk near it can actually go into that puddle, uh, puddle of wa water and regenerate health and it's really good for in-game content because when you are fighting or going up against high level enemies having that augmented mod really does help out and benefit um, your allies because again if your allies are you know, low on health, all you have to do is walk near you, and when you have Undertow activated and that augmented mod, they can regenerate some health. So it's really good, it's it's decent amount, it's nothing too crazy, but it's it can be useful from time to time. Now the main reason why I think um, Hydroid is good for in-game content is his fourth ability, which is Tentacle Swarm, aka the Kraken. Um, like I said, I'll have a link in the description where you, where I do review and kind of showcase that ability. But in short, uh, Tentacle Swarm summons a Kraken, and it's really, really, really good for in-game content because what it does is when you fully charge a Tentacle Swarm, you do not only do a, uh, do a good amount of burst of damage, but also too it does a crowd control. What I mean by that is, let's just say for instance you have a lot of enemies, and then you activate it in a fully charged uh, Tentacle Swarm. Upload me Not only does it do a lot defend. of damage, it actually, uh, like I said, crowd control, it really does help out a lot. So, that ability alone is really, really good for in game content, in especially for sorties or if you're doing high level de uh, defense missions. It's really, really good and very beneficial to have that crowd control because having that does help out a lot. Trust me, I've been playing this game for quite, quite a while now. I've, I think I have over just over a thousand hours playing this game. and. Sometimes having that crowd control power is really good. I mean, as you will see right here, what I'm doing right now is just regenerating some energy, and then once the enemies come, all I gotta do is look at and see where the enemies are coming from. Majority the enemies, activate the force skill, fully charge, and you will see that, you know, now to do decent amount of damage, but also too, in crowd control. It lets Still me activate that power. Continue. Meanwhile, I can do other damage to other enemies around that area. Meanwhile, my fourth ability, or the Kraken, I should say, does all the damage and takes care of that specific area where I activated it. So again, very good, very very good ability, especially for endgame content. And overall, just everything else, his stats, his health, shield, and armor, they're really good, they're pretty strong. I mean, before Hydra Prime was released, Hydra was okay, nothing too crazy, but once they released uh, Hydra Prime, they did a little bit of rework and Man, they really did a really good job. So good job, Digital Extremes, for the new work for Hydro. Because now Hydro is a lot fun, a lot more fun, I should say. Um, you know, post Hydro Prime release. So overall, that answers the question: Is Hydro Prime or Hydro good for in-game content? Yes, he is. Just make sure you get Hydro Prime. You can farm Hydroid. It's okay, just for you to kind of get the feel of Hydroid. It's very easy to. Um, to farm for the parts, but for Hydro Prime, I would highly recommend you know try to purchase him or just farm for the Prime parts and build Hydro. And I'm trust me, you will definitely enjoy Hydro because he is fun. It's a very simple uh, power move. It's a really simple build you can do. And honestly, the way he's built and or created, I should say, um, it's very very easy to you know do to increase his dam damage and be very viable to um, end game content. 
So yeah, that concludes this video of answering that question. Is Hydra good for in-game um, in content? Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with, up to date with my videos, please do subscribe to my channel because now it does help my channel grow, but also means a lot to me as well. And yeah, that concludes this video. And I'll end this video with some gameplay footage of me doing sorties with Hydra, so just to show you, you know, how effective he can be in crap controlling and so forth. So yeah, thank you for watching, and on to the next one. Bye bye. Odds were against us, Tenno, but we did it. Mission complete. Marines inbound.